Great finds today. Some World War II and Korean medals that we got in a box that was in a storage locker. I don't know who these belong to. There's not identifying remarks, but I would like to meet this person because there's a lot of medals in here. Some are given to those who participated, and there's also medals that are earned. The first one we have here is the World War II Victory Medal. That is the Victory Medal for World War II. The ribbon is in great condition. This person had uh, put these. There's a lot of glue on the back. They had presented these, but that is a World War II uh, victory medal. This medal will identify this person as fighting World War II in the European theater. This is the European, Africa, and Middle Eastern campaign medal. So this person would have participated in, in the European theater and given this particular medal. This is a campaign medal. The American campaign. See here eagle there so the ribbon is in great shape a lot of times you'll find these and these ribbons will be pretty frayed but they they save these very well and also the army of occupation medal these were given to those soldiers who stayed after probably in the european theater since he had that medal um after the war of course we occupied those countries to with the marshall plan there's the European, or the um, Occupation Medal. Now this person, they, they obviously fought in World War II. But they also, it looks like, they stayed in the service or rejoined. Because this is a Korean service medal. There's Korea. The medal's in great shape. A lot of times, they'll, some of these will have numbers on the side. This one doesn't. But you can see that it was an American. It was an American who fought in the Korean campaign. Um, this is a National Defense Medal. This is a medal that you can still earn today. This was started by President Eisenhower in 1950. Um, this medal started with the Korean War and went through Vietnam as well as the Global War on Terrorism. You can still earn this medal here. So this medal is still in, still can be awarded. There's an interesting medal from Korea. This is this is a United Nations medal. You can see there the United Nations symbol there for their service over in Korea. And I, I do know this person was in the Army, and this is how I can tell. This is an Armed Forces medal. Started back in the Korean War as well. It's an Armed Forces medal. But the backs of these would have the different branches of service. This particular one is for someone who served in the Army. It is an Armed Forces Medal. These were given to people who fought then. So all these medals, all in great shape. Now I have medals that are actually earned. This is a Purple Heart. To get the Purple Heart, you have to be wounded in combat. The Purple Heart is here. It's in great shape. There's the purple. There's the pin there signifying you got the Purple Heart. Some of these are named. This one is not named. Doesn't have a name on here. Some of those are numbered. This is not numbered. So there's a purple heart. You you are not just given this medal. This is this is an earned medal. Comes in this nice presentation box, which is beautiful. Now this medal is probably the best one here. This is a bronze star. This this is a medal for valor. This is you had to do something heroic, and you were awarded this. Your you were presented with this medal. This medal is in this nice little case. There's only two medals above this, the Silver Star and then the Congressional Medal of Honor, which is the highest in the land. So that one is um, well-earned, well-earned there. I also had some other things. That looks like the United Nations, the laurels there, this patch here. Um, there was also some patches that I didn't know. It looks like they're in first division, second division. Um, I don't think these are as, as old. They look pretty new to me, but they probably serve maybe this person. I wish we could find out who this person was and find out some history of these things because these are very interesting. Fought in two campaigns, two wars. There's some pins as well. This looks like from the Purple Heart. And a ton of these bars. Now this one, I, I have no idea what this is. If you could help identify that one. It's a little bar there. 
There's also some U.S. medals. These are all U.S. medals. That'd be the Purple Heart as well. U.S. Some bars, some some pins. These are oak leaf clusters. I don't know if they're attached to the Purple Heart or what the significance of them are. But if you if you are wounded more than once, you do get a Purple Heart with oak leaf cluster. Would be another if you're wounded more than once there. And these I I would love to have. Now he has he has two stars and he has a silver star there. With this particular bar. There's a star there with these campaigns. There's the Purple Heart as well. I'm not familiar as familiar with all these, the different, the significance of these. If you could help me out on these, they'd be awesome. And one of the coolest things I found was this particular, this is looks like what the veteran would wear um, when he would go wherever he would go to show all the medals that he's earned and they, they the medals coincide with those there's the different medals there occupation or two and there of course and he's, he's he has them even in order of significance there's your bronze star as well as your purple heart um, world war ii and korea these are different divisions he also had some pins here i don't think this is a military Nope, that's a trucking thing. So this particular person, it'd be nice to find out who this veteran was because he obviously had great service to our country and sacrificed a lot, probably saw a lot. He earned, he earned the Bronze Star as well as the Purple Heart. Looks like he's in the 1st and 2nd Division. And someone saved these. And it'd be nice to find out who they were, how to identify them, Maybe get these back to the family because they are in, all in great shape and really a credit to the person who took probably many years of their lives to help protect the freedoms that we all enjoy. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you would, comment if you know what any of these to help identify them. If it, a little bit of help would be appreciated. If you would, subscribe and share this. Anyway... Have a great day, and thanks for watching Grapevines.